What? Every time I try to sit back, a cat's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good morning. I already did half of my face. Well, nobody's there, so I have to wait. <laughs> but you can't, I can barely tell, like the other side. Just I see the highlight. I already did this side on my makeup, and I have not done this side. Hello, hi. See, I did this side. Hi, Ruby. Good morning. No. I already put makeup in this side, and in this side, I have not. I don't have anything on in. So um, this is the side where we're gonna do life and we're gonna match the other side. I'm just waiting a little bit so everybody could see that um, this is life. I'm not using any filters or anything like that and I love filters, um, but also I do natural lighting. But this is just, this is me. This is my skin and this is with my makeup. Hi Martha, hi Celeste, good morning. Before I start, I just wanna make sure like people, if they wanna tune in, good morning. Thank you so much Ruby, thank you. I'm just super crazy. Hola Martha. Sorry. Okay, I always start with the eyebrows and concealer and eyeshadow right here. I'm gonna be using a gold and a color Morme right here. Uh, and I'm wearing false lashes. So I did makeup in this side, but not in this side. So. Hi, Davangi. Are you back in Houston? Okay, I think I'm gonna start. Um, I just hope everybody got a chance to look at the side with makeup and the side without makeup. So we can compare. So I have to compare, I have to do this side. We should make it a challenge. Do one side and then do like the other side. Oh, I wanna see you before and after picture. Oh, you're still not in Houston. Now, Houston is awesome. The weather is beautiful today. Buenos dias, Ana. Exactly, Anna, and that's that's my whole point. Um, makeup is just to enhance your natural beauty. It's just to bring it out. You know, that's all it does. It's still you. Um, you just, you know, you just put in some makeup, but it's still you. It doesn't matter how much makeup you put on or little makeup you put on. It's still you. It's just to enhance your beautifulness. Your beautifulness. And it doesn't matter like the way you look or you're like, oh, I would never look like that. Yes, you can with the right makeup, with the right tools. And you can, yes, you can. 
Hi, Crystal. Hello. Okay, I think I'm going to start. I always start with my eyebrow, and we're going to start with the eyeshadow right here. Actually, before I do that really quick, um, it's very important to... Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thank you. I love it. I'm, I'm so happy. It's really awesome to exfoliate your skin, to remove all the dead skin at least once a week, okay? Especially after we put primers, we put foundations in our skin. Um, I do at least once a week. You want to take off all the dead skin. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. Um, and your exfoliation looks like there's something clear and it comes with the little, I don't know what those called. But it's really good to exfoliate because a lot of the makeup, um, it gets inside your pores, inside your skin, and, you know, it clogs your pores and it starts, like, um, getting breakouts and all the bacteria you have in there. I already clean my face with witch hazel, okay? Witch hazel is just going to kill all the bacteria you have in your skin, okay? Disinfect your skin. So... Once a week, at least, you need to do this. What you do is grab a little bit of your exfoliation. This is what I did already on this side, okay? So you kind of, you dead skin, you have to remove it, okay? At least once a week because the dirt, the dust outside, the makeup we wearing has many products that clogs your pores. So... I want to show you. I already did it on the other side. That's the first thing I did. And remember that witch hazel is not a moisturizer. It is a cleansing. It's just something that's going to kill your bacteria. You see that nasty thing? That's the dead skin, makeup, everything inside my pores. Okay? Even if you have... Uh, saggy eyes, so we got wrinkles, and we have dark circles. This is very important to do. Exfoliate your skin, remove your dead skin. Okay. I do it every week. Look at this. That's so gross. And you just do circle emotions. And you're gonna do your eyes too. Let me get a paper towel. Because it gets so gross. Um, I use in Viva, but exfoliation of, and you can find it anywhere. Um, I paid too much for this one. Uh, um, Sephora has one under $40. Um, that was before, I bought this a while back, last year. So, and it lasts me a long time. Um, but it was like six, seventy or eighty dollars. But Sephora has one, and it's a big old bottle under forty dollars. Oh, Bea Terra also has one. It's to exfoliate. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking all the dead skin so your skin will be so soft. It does not hurt. It's just going to remove all the nastiness from your pores, from your skin, all the dead skin. So it's super nasty to see all the dead skin, but you have to take it off every, at least once a week. I know. Hi, Mona. Hi, Wendy. I'm sorry I didn't see you guys. I'm using Viva, Vivo, I can't see it, Vivo. I don't really like that brand, to be honest, because a lot of the products did not work, but this is the only thing I did like, Vivo, and it's more expensive, and Sephora has one under $40, so. So I'm gonna go wash my face, and what I usually do when I'm washing it, I use my Illuminated Cleanser, Face Cleanser, uh, this is kind of like a stretchy skin. It just make it look so much smoother too. So I grab a little bit of this um, and I'm, I'm washing my face with it. 
I got too much, but. So I'm gonna go in the bathroom sink and wash a little bit. I'll be right back with warm water. This is once a week, take off all the dead skin. Even if I did it, I did it like three days later, I will still get all the nastiness off my skin. One second. Good morning. Hi, Lala. Hi, Liz. Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning. So I already did my makeup in this side. This side, we're gonna do our makeup together. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Anne. Margaret. Hi, Rochi. Sana. Thank you. Okay, um, I wanted to do this live so you guys could see that I'm not using any filters. Most of the time I use a natural, natural lighting. So in this side I have a lot of spots. You see that? So what we're going to do is my skin is getting so much better every single day because the way I'm taking care of it and I share it with you guys. I'm putting just eye serum in my eyes right here. It's just vitamins for your eyes. This one, see if someone's gone. And you wanna use moisturizer, especially if your skin is super dry. And the witch hazel is gonna control, if you have an oily skin, the witch hazel is gonna control all of that because the witch hazel is gonna make your skin a little bit drier. Uh, if you have a delicate skin, it's like really good to clean it because it's just killing all the bacteria. Thank you, I love it too. I couldn't wait to get it done. I'm so happy about my hair. I'm super happy. I had it black, fully black for three years, I think. Or oh, two years and a half. And I just love the caramel color. I just love it. That's one of my favorite colors. But it was so damaged that, you know, nobody wanted to do it. So you always have to moisturize your skin as Especially if your skin is super dry. Mm -hmm. Mama Arete, thank you. Gracias. You know what? I've been you. I use so many different skincare, especially like I started taking care of my skin when I was older, and uh, nothing works. And I've been using the unique skincare the exfoliation and like uh, bacteria cleaner. Then I use witch hazel for, for kill bacteria and I use exfoliation for a, a different companies. But in general, I use all unique skincare products and that and the makeup have changed my skin so much. One of these days I need to show you guys my skin before I started using all these skin products and now, because it's a big difference. Okay, I'm gonna use a lip, okay, a lip liner because it's really soft pen. I will use it for, let me move this. I'm gonna use it to outline my eyebrow. Let's just start this. I wanna take a lot of your time. Uh, thank you. 
<laughs> you like those earrings? <laughs> so, because the lip liner and it's brown, uh, it's soft, so it's gonna go so much easier outlining your eyebrow. The line on the bottom needs to be longer than the one on the top. Like that. And I'm gonna fill in this area with the same pen or I could grab a softer or harder brush, which really tight. The fiber needs to be tight like this. I'm gonna use palette number one uh, from Unique. And Fanny, ¿cómo que le vas a hacer ojo de qué? O oh, a los earrings. Hola, lady. Hi, Peggy. Okay. So I'm grabbing this light brown right here. And I'm going to start from the bottom part and start pushing the product up. And fill in my eyebrow with the light powder. So I'm using kind of cream color with powder. It works better for me, it kind of, because I have a lot of hair on my eyebrows, so it works better to control those hair too. Uh, this one right here, this is number one. And what I do is, you can go for a day color. This is, will be your base and a darker brown, lighter brown, and then darker brown, and a shimmerish brown. Sorry, it's really dirty, but this is the color that I use for my brows. So I use it for multiple purpose. Um, cheaper, that's my, my color for my eyebrows that I filled in. And I use a lip liner, which is really soft, like a cream, really soft. This one, I don't remember what I bought it. It has no brand anymore. Um, it's really cream, and I think I, look at all the product. I think I pay $6 for it. It's very creamy, so I want that creamy nice. I want those lines very clean. Exactly does not smear, no, because I already put cream on it, around it, and then I'm filling it up with this. And if you're scared of smearing it because you have a lot of hair, you can put the gel and brush your hair very gently backwards and it will stay on all day. And then with the... With the setting spray at the end, your eyebrow will last all day. Hi, Betty. Hi, Crystal. Why the soft face? And that's it. You see how fast that was? Now I'm gonna use my concealer. Oh, I'm getting hard. Thank you. I use a cheap one, but I really want the new, I saw one at the uh, Tar. it's $32, I think, or $27, I'm not sure, the setting spray, oh, it smells so good, and it just, it feels so delicious, it's like, smells like lemons. Who's giving me hearts? Oh, Stephanie, thank you so much, you look so beautiful in that picture, girl. Stephanie did really good yesterday. Thank you, Betty. Sorry, I'm just finding, oh, where's my, um... ah! 
Hi, Joan. Hi, Crystal. Oh, because you has been one breakfast, and I want to start here. <laughs> Hi, Mariko. Well, you can still watch the video and make breakfast at the same time. Just make sure you put it in the kitchen so you don't burn anything. Might have you make breakfast already. I'm so lucky. So I'm gonna clean this. You see how clean line this the pen gave me? So and this is gonna make it so much cleaner. I'm using a pen brush, ladies. Yes, a pen brush, you don't have to be fancy. Well, you use whatever you want, but as long as it gives you the same result. Hi, Judy. <laughs> I always watch you make a videos too. All the time. If it's not a make a video, it's something to learn, something new to learn, or improve myself, or inspire, quote. I love it. And since I'm already here, I'm priming my whole eye already. I always repeat myself what I'm doing because, so you guys know what I'm doing. So I'm sorry if you. This brush has angles, so I really use the angles. They don't understand, no. My fiance does, he, he lets me he doesn't say anything. I'm on the phone all the time. Thank you so much, Joan. You watch my videos, but you don't wear any makeup. <laughs> you will after you start watching these videos. You will end up buying makeup and wearing makeup. So you see that this side has no makeup. This side has makeup already. So. I have a lot of spots, you see that? On this side. No. And I'm using mermaid color with gold. You can barely see it, but the gold is right there. Annie, dang, I'm frozen the screen. She's like, my screen is frozen. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh, you wanna see what my fiance is doing while I do videos? Like, this is him right there. Hey, babe, say hi. <laughs> Marta wanted to know. She was watching the video. Yes, it's Stephanie. I already did, uh, I already taken care of that. By the way, you look beautiful. You did a good job. Stephanie, yesterday we, we worked together and I did one side and she did the other side. So she looked amazing. Thank you, Heather. Yes, they love playing the Xbox. <laughs> Actually, it's so funny, Martha. So I'm putting concealer right on those dark spots and I put my concealer like right around my eyebrows without the primer because I don't want to smush all over. So I want something really that I could control.
And I use a unique uh, primer, which is almost gone, so we have to squeeze in, get the life out of it. Okay. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to put some primer before I start keep adding uh, concealer. Right, I have a lot of pores right here. We're going to cover all this. You see this side? See this side? You can barely tell. I already took off my mustache. That was so big. I have a candle over there and it's just like, making a lot of weird noises, scaring the hell out of me. It does. It's like weird noises. So what I do is, right when I do this, I just got a beauty blender because I, I already add primer, right? So I want a really nice base for my um, um, eyeshadows. So I grab the tape. I'm gonna put fake lashes today, so stay tuned. Sorry, I have to use my finger. I don't can't find my. Um... When I put it too close to my eyes, it's tend to um. It tend to like start my eyes start dripping. So again, I grab a bit of big fluffy brush and I'm gonna use uh, Anastasia Beverly here um, this one is called this color right here is called mermaid <laughs> but this is this a song called mermaid right there's a song called mermaid 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 that's song you show no, me that's not called what's it called the name of the song <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? okay never mind <laughs> Really want to know? No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know no more. Okay, I'm going to put the gold first as a background. Some people are laughing. They probably know the name of the song, and I don't know. I don't know anything about music, so if you start saying something, I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. A fake band. Oh, it's a what? It's a fake band. It's a fake band? Yeah. It's not a real band? No, I mean, like, they actually tour and stuff, but it's like a joke. Oh. All their songs are, like, really stupid. Yeah, but I like the that song. The song is called Mermaid. Mermaid? Yeah, it's about mermaid murder. Oh yeah. The band is called Death Clock. Um, never mind then. It's a cartoon show. Yeah, yeah, the cartoon show. Let's grab the mermaid color. Always take off the excess when you're working with a really dark color like this. So I'm gonna start right here. I just want a splash of this color. You're gonna grab a cutex. Cutex are your best friend. Cutex. Never mind. And I'm gonna. 
gonna blend in now. I'm gonna use my liquid eyeliner, really angly by Maybelline. It looks like a marker, but it's not a marker. And this is the time where we pray. We hope it come out the same way the other side. Which again, I forgot because I usually put black eyeliner right on around the, my waterline the liquid eyeliner this one yeah, this one is pretty cool. I love the angles because, you know, the little pointy stuff. It kind of make your job easier. Don't be scared on it. Because you don't want to see your skin right underneath here, the waterline. So what I usually do at the beginning is um, outline my waterline with the black eyeliner. But right now I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> My favorite show's not on yet. Why? Why? <laughs> That's not how I cry, people. Don't cry like that. Drop the cover. Drop the cover. Why this happened to me? Okay. I'm just waiting to let it dry. Yo soy de Nicaragua. I'm from Nicaragua. Oh, that's how you cry when you miss your novella, Elizabeth. Don't cry like that in front of people. You better cry alone. That should be illegal. That's how I cry when my eyeliner comes really bad. And the inside. Centro America, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> ¿De dónde eres, Manny? I didn't mess it up. So it looks like this. And if it's okay, even if it's messed up a little bit, uh, we're gonna clean it with um, with a concealer. Okay, so we're gonna start adding more concealer. Mm, 
Salvador, mi mamá, my mom is from the Salvador. Mi mamá es from Salvador. <laughs> is she from Nicaragua? Because we super crazy, super locas. And that's, porque es tu ex. That's why she's your ex, huh? She's super crazy. So I'm putting concealer right under my eyes with the conceal all everything that I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Thank you. You guys like my tattoo? Uh, the guy who did it, his name is Sean. He has his own tattoo uh, studio on, uh, what is it, Clear Lake Bay? Pasadena. Pasad Pasadena. Spencer Highway. It's Spencer Highway. He is so good. Like, if you need to cover it up or whatever, like, if you want to know anything I'm using for these products, oh, I'm on Facebook, okay? Inbox me. See, I have a spot right there. Like, what I do is just, like, I just cover. Uh, I just freaking cover. That's what the concealer is for. Concealer is just to cover things. You don't want it to stand out when you put in your makeup. Okay? But if your face and your skin is beautiful and flawless, you don't need a lot of concealer. Okay? And again, I'm gonna use my beauty blender. It's already wet, it's already washed it. Sorry if I'm not looking at your comments. Yeah, exactly, if you, that's the only way you use it, Crystal. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't have to put concealer all over your face. If your skin is perfect and it's like really good, that's fine. And I look like I use a lot, but it's just because I like to, um, I like to, I have a lot of pores. So what I do, I just pat it like this. Top of my pores, so I could get a nice soft look. So now I'm gonna use my foundation, which I'm using YSL, this foundation. And I'm gonna use my oval brushes. No, it's fine. Um, my concealer using is uh, from Unique Mineral Touch Skin Perfection. It's my favorite concealer. Period. If you're gonna ever invest in something, invest in a really good concealer. I usually use BB creams and that concealer from Unique. Uh, but today I wanted to do a full coverage and just to show you guys like the difference. And I have to come and seal this line I have over here. All brushes you want to like smooth it out, out like this. Or you can do circular motions, or you can like raise it very gentle out.
Vicky said that uh, she said, please don't put the ugly ass videos. I don't understand what you're talking about. No entiendo que está hablando. Yes, the unique one, the one that I use. Vicky, if you don't like the, my ugly ass video, you can get out of the video. You don't have to watch me. Sandra, Vicky just. I already said it in English, so I'm not going to repeat it. See, ¿Sí, Brenda, ¿está está correcta? Y esta es una clase. This is, this is a class. This is usually like a free tips that I come over here and give you guys. If it doesn't like it, somebody doesn't like it, they can, you know, move on. There's thousands of other girls doing the video. People are so ignorant. Yes, I love this concealer. Even if you just have to cover, even if you don't use a lot of makeup, you can use it just to cover the small spot, whatever you want to cover, even under your eyes. Just tap it with your, um, with this. And like just tap it with the concealer, I mean with the spongy. You know what, this concealer, um, the clean that I did at the beginning, um, uh, Leslie, Leslie, I don't know if you saw at the beginning, the way that I clean my skin before I apply any, like if I was doing a full coverage makeup and I was going out or something like that. Uh, you clean your, you exfoliate, you clean your face. You have to keep the process cleaning your face and your wrinkles. I had a wrinkles right here and they're going away and right here on my forehead. But all the products that I'm using and cleaning my face and stuff like that and what I'm using, it really have helped a lot. I use that serum for my skin, for my eyes, for the wrinkles. Oh, I'm using the witch haze to clean it because it ties your skin up and it kills all the bacteria. I hope I answered your question, Leslie. Yes, exactly, and uh, Nas Nasia, yeah, and you can mix the concealer with the foundation, or I mix, because I have a super dry skin, I mix the uh, BB cream with the uh, liquid um, perfection uh, uh, foundation that they have, and for a dry, dry skin, I know it's like we are mixing foundation, um, but if you have a dry skin, most or all foundations, they're made for um, a normal skin or oily skin. So now you guys see, I'm not using any filters. Um, this is just me. It just depends the way that I'm priding your product. I'm sorry. The way that I'm applying the product and so on and forth. You know, that's the whole purpose of the video also. That don't ever think you're not pretty enough because you are. You just, the makeup, it just enhances how beautiful you are. Okay? I'm sorry, I'm missing you guys coming. I'm Martha, I had no idea. Yeah, she probably was referring about my video. That's a retorter. I wonder for how long she was watching my video. I know, right, Elizabeth? My videos are awesome. They kick ass. I'm trying to teach you something. If you don't want to learn how to put your makeup, you want to look like a chola, like my, my, she probably, her eyebrows are like thinking that they're fleet, but they're like, Ugh. I wish I could show you a picture right now. 
is about learning. My unique concealer. But you guys could like sit tight and like, you know, go back and look at the video because the way I was looking like this eye is like totally different from this eye. Concealer, this concealer. So if anybody wants to inbox me about this, let me know. Yeah, the Ablef Eye Serum, I put it right under mine. And the concealer, you know, there's a lot, I know there's a lot of products up there, okay? There's, there's so much product to put on your face and you get confused. You're like, whoa, what is all these products? And it just depends, everybody is different. Everybody is different. So everybody's skin is different, okay? So don't think because somebody else did it this way that you're going to do it that way. It, it's, you have to work the way it works for you. I usually, I color match. I give personal one-on-one -on -one class if anybody's interested on that. Or I make cover, or I do weddings, I do quinceañeras, I do anybody that wants a little bit of makeup, okay? Or want to learn about your makeup, about you. How do you, what do you need to put makeup on? Uh, if you don't have time in the morning to do two-hour makeup, I teach you that too, just for you. Um, not everybody needs a lot of makeup. I need a lot of makeup, okay? I do. So I have to get up early in the morning. Super early. So what I did is I grab a darker concealer, okay? Let's move on. I go back into your comments and answer everything uh, that you guys are asking me. <laughs> Martha, you're so sweet. <laughs> She's like, I got you back, girl. I get the ghetto out of me. Yes, I'm in Houston. What's up? I'm in Houston. But, let me see, where's my cutex? Okay, I'm grabbing a darker concealer, okay? For the, this ass pale face. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna grab a cutex because I don't need a lot. Okay, and I don't need a lot of darkness. So. Do, 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 do. Ooh, tengo varicela. Chichoki. <laughs> I got chicken pox. Okay. We're gonna put some chicken pox. And you know what? I got chicken pox when I was little, and apparently it can't come back when you're older. And like seven months ago, I got them back all over in my face. It's no joke, it hurts. But you can take medicine for a week and then they go away. So this is where I am applying the darker areas. I look like an alien. Uh, because I'm gonna contour these areas right here. You see this area? Looks so skinny. This is area? You can't see that because I haven't contoured it yet. That's the difference in a contouring. To make your face slimmer, okay? Slimmer. Look at that. So I'm gonna grab one of my um, brushes, oval brushes. And I love using this because it's super fast. So I'm gonna do some circular motion and just push it down. This area, you can use this or you can use your spongy Oh, I thought I was going to get kicked out. You can do this. We're going to wet it a little bit. And this side right here, you're not going to push it down, okay? From this side, we're going to push up and backwards. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm gonna push it up because we wanna look like this. Just joking. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
Yeah, shingles. Chicken pots, man. Sucks. So. So, I'm contouring my forehead because I have a big forehead and a round face. So that's why I contour here, forehead, and boom, la papilla. This right here. Mm -mm. So I could keep eating tacos. <laughs> Who knows how to shake the shoulder? I learned how to do it like I was in like a, in a band, you know, with the dance with the stick like this. In a band, you know? What is that called here in English? I used to, huh? A, a baton? Yeah, like this. I used to be one of those girls that do that, like a kind of cheerleader, but in our country, it's like you dance with a baton. And like, ba -tum, ba -tum, ba -tum. and the baton at that time, I remember the teacher taught us how to move that shoulder. I don't know if I could move it no more. Um, it was pretty cool. Sorry, I'm random. So this is the nose. I just this is the way I contour it. Okay, uh -huh. to make it slimmer. Yeah, anybody could need to inbox me, you guys can inbox Stephanie or me. She's one of my students. She did awesome. What I do is like I do one side and you guys have to do the other side. You have to replicate what I do. Hands on, people. Hands on. That's the way you're going to learn. So this is the way it looks. And, and you see this shade is like five shades darker than me, okay? But I use it very lightly and it lasts me a long time. And it's just another concealer and I use it for contouring. And I use my primers for contouring. See? Or you can use like a really dark foundation or a darker concealer. Uh, whatever you have on hand. So because all this is creaming and my foundations is made, but I still kind of um, conceal this area right here. So I'm gonna grab my um, translucent powder. This translucent powder is super messy. I know that some people use baby powder, flour, or um, this one is from Eight Cosmetic. And the translucent powder is for your pores, okay? When you have a lot of pores, to cover and to fill. Um, I usually grab these little sponges and I apply it. And I just leave it at least for five minutes. my house glasses is at my house I could go to you uh, but um, I try not to because there's so much stuff that I have to carry everything is here oh you can inbox me if you have anybody interested so we can talk about it more of uh, offline but, but yeah I do give one-on-one -on -one class because everybody's different. Everybody wants something different, you know? Everybody's skin is different. So, like, so. And I'm just leaving it there to sit for five minutes. In the meantime, when I'm waiting, I just start dancing. I'm like, let's boogie, boogie, boogie. Let's boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh, I should have put some music on. My phone is available. I'm using my fancy phone. Come to Oregon? Yeah, man. When? We need to set it up. I'll come over there. I'm serious. 
Ooh, ooh. In the meantime, let's work on our eyelash, on eyelashes. Who does not know how to put an eyelash? I didn't know. I didn't want to... Um... Eyelashes are very tricky and very scary. But don't be. When you get used to, you just be like, oh, is this okay? So what I use is you can use a plastic tweezers. Those plastic tweezers, you can get with it maybe at the dollar store. I hate using this one, but I don't have a plastic one, so we're going to use this one. And what I do is, like, I put a white glue. Oh, shoot, that fall. <laughs> I drop it. Chin down. I'm sorry this video went longer than I thought. Ah, I drop it. Stay right there. Ah, this thing is very sharpy, and I'm trying not to mess up my eyelash. So, stay right there. Okay, I'm gonna grab it with my finger. We're gonna put some white glue. I use this glue right here. Oh, Dios mío. So I grab a Kitex. I grab some glue and I just. So it looks like this. Don't be scared. And it's better for you to have a black eyeliner, a line right here, so you don't see a lot of the glue that we're going to put on. And the way you place it is right on top of your eye. Um, I can't even talk anymore. What is it? Your eyelash. Right on top of your eyelash, okay? Sorry, I was moving some stuff before I drop it. Thank you. I love my hair. I love it. And I can't wait to start growing healthy and black over here. And it just kind of, this is going to stay over here from here down. And like, I can't wait. I love it. I love long hair. I just had to cut. Same here. Okay. So don't worry. You know, the box come like this. It looks like this. So when you place in them, make sure you put them like this. This is for my, I just drop it. No. Okay, let's put the, this thing on before I drop it again. You guys probably laughing at me, huh? Okay. Oh, I have a job. Okay, so the center of your eye, the fake eyelash should go in the center of your eye right here, but also check out. This, the longer part, should be right at the end. I hope you guys could see it. And just let it sit right when it's placed. Don't touch it, okay? Don't touch it, let it dry, okay? So when I apply the mascara, I will show you how to apply the mascara, okay? I need more glue right at the end. Sometimes if they're too long, you can cut the corners. So 
So if you still need glue right in the corner, you can use a Q-tip or something very small. can close my eyes. I didn't have trouble with this one. Now I'm having trouble with this one because it keeps sticking up. Like, I guess I need more glue. The, like the little corner, it just keep coming up. Or you can grab your uh, twist, just help you to put it down there. I'm gonna cry. Okay. I need heart because I can't get my eyelash. Okay. I just kind of let it dry. It's not crying. It's not crying. Okay. So it's just let it dry. Don't mess with it. Hi, Ruby. Uh, I have not used it. I think it will work the same. But I have not used the black glue yet, but I will try. Let's see, star glue this time. Because I have this big bottle. I have to finish it. And it works good. I just, I think I let it dry too much. Yeah, so now it's not time to cry. Let's be a big girl. Okay. So I let it dry. And I put my finger right underneath. Because I'm going to use this... Where's my liver? I'm gonna use the mascara. Mascara. We're gonna use the mascara. So I put my finger right right on top because I don't wanna like put it all over my eyelashes or get it, everything dirty after all that work we did. And I wanna be able to grab my hair and the fake lashes, falsies. Um, also, don't put the mascara right on on the glue because if you go right hard right on the glue, the mascara has oils and then that's why it starts coming off later, sooner. And if you get all over your eye, you can use a cutex. Cutex. Okay, almost done. Almost done. I promise. I like the lip eyeliners from my Lani. It's all soft. Even you can use it as a lipstick. You can fill it in. You're gonna fill in your lipstick. Your lips. My lipstick. My lipstick. You see that this color is zero three nude. And it was very inexpensive, Malani. And then I'm gonna add, sorry, I'm gonna add a lip gloss that is nude color for unique.
If you want, you can turn it to stand out a little bit more. You can you grab a uh, angle brush. Yeah, most of the lips, like if you wanted to make it look bigger, you're gonna put a dark color right here at the ends and then align your upper lip to make them look bigger. Just a little bit. And I grab my bronzer to mix everything in. <coughs> and I'm using a beach from bronzer for unique. Almost done, chicas. I promise. I'm sorry, it took forever. Okay, let's use this angle brush. And what I usually do, and I mix these two together. I love this highlight. And the last thing, you just put a little bit of blush because I already put the highlight. I want um, using sweet. And I just right, put it right on top of my bone cheek. So that's why you see this side like this. Yeah, I match it. <laughs> And if you feel like you put too much blush, you can go and grab a big uh, fluffy brush and just blend everything in. And you do that same thing in your nose right here. Uh, you can do it with a contouring or highlight it, but that's pretty much it. And don't forget to, you can always use a Q-Tex to blend in your eyebrow, to fade it in to make it look more natural. Okay, like this. Martha, you are a troop or you stay? Hi, Maria. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you like it. Um, hi, Reben. Hi, Leslie. Do you have a cute little cut a little before you're applying? Oh, yeah. Uh, the eyelashes you can cut if they're too long. You can cut the corners before you apply them. Yes. So that the corner will not stick so you don't feel like they're sticking. Let me back up a little. I'm going to bring the phone closer to me so you guys can see it. And to be able to clean your lips, um, you guys go always use a, a brush. A concealer brush or the foundation and just do this look my lips look so weird right now yeah 
I get a lot of hearts. So just clean it. <laughs> now I start to go look at my novella. Mm -hmm. Just joking. I haven't watched a novella for a long time. Thank you so much. I love my hair. Yes, I love it. I'm super happy. It's been a long time that I want it like that. Time to boogie. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go sit down and watch a movie in my room. But I wanted to show you guys the power of makeup. I started with no makeup. Where's my picture? For those that just tune in, um, I started with no makeup. Um, and one side was my makeup done, the other side wasn't. So I was just showing the difference. Lexi. Lexi. Oh, you can't see it. It was so bright. I can't show you. It didn't work. I will post a picture. I will post a picture before and after. Ah, I couldn't show you before and after. It's so bright. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. Just home. Thank you, Martha, for watching my video and all of you guys that stay with me this whole time. I'm so sorry it took forever, but um, thank you so much. And I hope you guys, I hope I taught you something today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, inboxing me, inbox me or I'm on Facebook as your friend on Facebook. Uh, if you want to know any about these products, just let me know. I give classes also on the weekends. Um, and I need a weekend from are from let me know thank you ladies thank you for the hearts thumbs up if you like it thank you bye Martha I know right I'm gonna go take a ride on my car go buy some groceries I'm from Nicaragua Nancy mm, but I live here in Houston you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So don't forget to clean your face with ha witch hazel, okay? It's just to disinfect your face. Your skin, I'm sorry. I, that came out wrong. I don't know. He's laughing at me. I don't know what. I don't know. I'm just going to go watch a movie. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Stop laughing at me, man. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> See, now I'm gonna cry for laughing. <laughs> but moms, I think I saw that movie already. I wanna watch the one with uh, uh, Lisa McCarthy. Um, the new one was it like uh, Ghostbusters? She's so funny. I have to. I love funny movies, okay, and action movies. That's all I watch. I, we went out yesterday. I went, I went out yesterday all day, and I just I love being home on Sundays. Um, that's my only me time, and I get to do whatever I want. And uh, yesterday I went to eat uh, gator. Anybody have eat gator, alligator? It's super good. I used to think it was disgusting, but it was super good. Super, super, super good. I crave it so much that I just like, I want some gator. And it's off the menu, you have to ask for it. You have to really know about it. <laughs> the butter. <laughs> I went out yesterday. I'm so, I'm so tired today. I'm homebody. The kids are not here this weekend. They were their dad. So they're having fun. Yeah, rat tail. What's the name of the jalapeno stuffing with uh, 
Rat toes. Yeah, rat toes. Rat toes. That's the name of the has stuffed jalapenos, fried jalapenos. What do they have inside? Crab. Yeah, crab meat. Crab meat. And cheese. And cheese. They're really spicy. I never tried them before, a rat toe, and I actually, I was like, wait a minute, do I'm eating a rat toe? Wait, what, is, what, what are we eating here? No, it's like, no, this is what it is, and that's what it's called. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. It was so good, like, it was so delicious. Yeah, that, man. Yeah. But I'm so glad you guys like my hair because I love it. So thank you so much for watching my video, ladies. Okay? Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Bye, Martha. Bye, ladies.